I'm sometimes asked, what is the major impediment in the healing of those who struggle with homosexual confusion? Very bluntly, it's self-effort. We try to do it ourselves. Oh yes, we ask God for God's help, but then we try to do it ourselves. It's not that we mean to do it the wrong way. More often, it's that we've never been shown how to do it the right way. For many of us, there's never been an issue compelling enough to motivate us to embrace a crucified form of living. In providing such an issue, our struggle with homosexual confusion is, in a certain sense, a blessing in disguise. God turning all things to the good. Yielding to God's power being poured out through us is not a natural way of doing things here on the earth. It requires faith and trust in a God that we cannot see. It requires giving up control, yielding our independence. In essence, it requires crucifying the flesh with all of its pride, taking on the form of a servant, a slave, a child, a weak and dependent creature who needs its daddy for everything. Such a stance inflames the pride that drives the heart of man, and it's very difficult to overcome. If there is one condition that demands that a person totally yield to God's will, direction, and empowerment, it is the healing of homosexual confusion. As with alcoholism, without giving ourselves totally into God's hands, change will not happen. Why? Because homosexual confusion insinuates itself into the deepest fabric of our soul, our self-consciousness, and it lashes itself to one of the strongest instincts of our bodies, that of sexual expression. Only God can untie this knot. Secular and sometimes even Christian psychology takes us on a man-driven Easter egg hunt for the cause of our brokenness. If God is mentioned at all, it is with faint lip service. But God wants us to receive our understanding, our direction, and our empowerment from Him. He wants to transform us as we pursue an intimate relationship with Him. Yes, there will be details about our lives that will need to be addressed along the way, and He will show those details to us. But with a perfect knowledge, a perfect timing, and the solution that is inaccessible to man, let's allow the Lord to be our primary counselor and put our focus on knowing Him.